I'm just going to be introducing the Pages automated license plate reader system here. My name is Officer Justin St. Pierre, Arcadia PD. This unit's equipped with the Alpers license plate reader. As you can see, it's got three cameras. One on the left, the driver's side, two on the passenger side. The little unit there at the back says Garmin on it. That's uh, the GPS. These cameras have two modes, color and the infrared. Alternately for day and night, it'll pick up uh, any license plate towards the front of the vehicle. This can be switched into parking mode as well, which will then operate off of the right-hand side cameras. It don't have to be moved manually at all. It will pick them up at extreme angles. You get that extreme of an angle, uh, there's more potential for a misread. These second and third characters it's having trouble with, it's not quite seeing those right. For whatever reason you want to just snap a picture of what the camera's looking at, you can do that with this button right here. I've had these for about a year now. Our full shift strength right now is seven, so we've got uh, the four camera cars plus three additional be out at any given time. I could have played across about two lanes of traffic. Maybe 30 feet. can barely make that out with the naked eye, but the enhanced image there at the bottom, it snapped it right on. In about 12 and a half hours, it'll hit anywhere between about 1,500 to 3,000 plates. Slow shift, it might hit about 1,000. I've seen upwards of two to 3,000. Picking up these oncoming cars right now as they're passing by. You know, they're going about, uh, I estimate those cars are going by about 40, 45 miles an hour. Stolen car, vehicle with a felony want, it'll throw an alert up on the screen. A uh, woman's voice comes on, says alert. It also throws an alert back in the lieutenant's office. A siren comes out of here. A quick little boop. They can see what unit is registering the hit, what plate is being hit on, and where it's located in the city. It's got the GPS coordinates underneath the image that is captured. This is the license plate, and it tells us if it's lost or stolen. It has read over a million plates. I think it was September of 08, and it's got 745 hits, and it's just on the internet. We just log on onto the internet. I'll look at it to see if it's an actual match. I get up and I go into our dispatch center and let them know he's probably going to run a plate that's going to come up stolen, so be prepared. He's going to pull it over. He's still got to figure out which car it is. It's going to take him a minute to go, wait, it just hit. Okay, there's the plate, there's the picture. The car, it went that way. It stores every single plate that's read. You can go back and review all the plates that have been read. A month from now, he gets a burglary report. We can go in here. It's been flagged, and it was last seen at this intersection. If I were trying to run all these plates manually, it would be an overwhelming task. It makes it a lot easier. The other cool thing is if we have a robbery in town and they only get the last three of the license plate, we get a lot of partial plates in crimes. And they know it's a red Mercedes and the last three are five, six, seven. I can go in here and into the system every time they come up a red Mercedes that has a five, six, seven is the last three of the plate, it'll hit for them. If the driver matches the description of the robbery suspect, they can pull the car over. It's really not a distraction. It'll uh, run in the background. It'll pop to the forefront of the MDC screen. So I can do whatever I need to do on the MDC the computer console here, and then it won't interfere. I can access the status of uh, all the other units. Yeah, I can bring up a map of the city. I can write my reports here uh, if I need to. It's a very, very useful system that we have.